Okay, as you all know, we're on the road to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And on 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be hosting my first ever giveaway. Also, I'm not Mr. Beast, so I'm gonna be giving away an Xbox or a PlayStation gift card. What about me? I'm on PC. Yeah, if you're on PC, uh... Okay, the only way to enter the giveaway is by subscribing with post notifications on and take a screenshot for proof, then send it to my Instagram so I can see that you subscribe with post notifications on. Also, while you're on my Instagram, make sure you hit that follow button. Okay, the only way I can choose a winner is by the person that stay active on my channel the most. The only way I can find a person that's active on my channel the most is by having a code in every video I upload. And for an example, the code is gonna look something like this. So all you have to do is find the code in this video and put it in my comments and that just shows me that you're active on my channel. Also, if there are multiple people who are active on my channel, I'm going to put y'all boys on a spinning wheel. Hey yo, what is up? It's Wolf 2 Times and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys how to get custom license plate. Also, I know a lot of y'all was asking me, how do I put custom license plate on the Izzy Classic? Just watch this full video because I'm going to be showing y'all boys how to put custom license plate, your own custom license plate on the Izzy Classic because I know y'all boys don't want to get duped detected. Also, if you already tried this and your iPhone app just keep crashing, just watch this full video because I got you. I already found a way, an easier way. Instead of buying all them LEDs and putting them in your garage, I find an easier way to solve that problem. Also, if you don't know why you need custom license plate and you duplicate a lot and that's the only way you make money off of this game what you want to want to do is right watch this video right here on this screen or hit this icon right here what you want to do is watch that video and then come back to this video because it's really important for you to watch that video first and come back to this one because you're going to need custom license plate if you duplicate a lot but without further ado shout out to these people right here for finding the code in the last video that means these people right here want to win the gift card giveaway that i'm gonna give away at 10,000 subscribers so if you are new right now how many subscribers we got let me check and right now we're actually at 6.6k and trust me if you are new everything i upload on this channel is actually legit so right now we're at 6.6k and before i upload a new video let's try to hit 6.8k i know we can do that because we grow like each and every day so let's go ahead and do that also let's try to hit 20 likes on today's video and let's get into the video okay the first thing y'all boys want to do is you're gonna have to need a phone if you don't got a phone i don't know how this is gonna work for you but if you do got a phone it don't matter if you got an android or i'm about to say xbox but you don't matter if you got an android or an iphone but you're gonna have to download the iFru app okay once you download the iFru app and you sign in with your xbox or playstation account what you're trying to do is just go ahead and start it up okay once you get to this part right here what you're trying to do is click on ls customs Okay, as you can see, my iPhone app just crashed. And I know a lot of you have the same problem, like the iPhone app just keep crashing. Okay, the only reason why the iPhone app keep crashing on you is because you're driving around dirty dupes, meaning that you duplicated a vehicle, but it's dirty and you're driving it around, and the iPhone app is not gonna recognize that type of vehicle. Or you're driving around a modded vehicle, meaning that you put Benny wheels or F1 wheel on a vehicle. That means you merged it, like that merge glitch. So you merged um, some wheels on a, on, a, on a vehicle and you're driving around. So the iPhone app is not gonna recognize that type of vehicle. So it's gonna crash every single time. Okay, the only two ways to solve this problem is by having a 10 car garage and filling it up with 10 or 9 free LG Retro Custom. And if you don't know how to get the LG Retro Custom, what you're trying to do is whip out your phone, go to the internet, go to Legendary Motorsport, and click show bar price and go to free. The free LG right here, this vehicle right here, I don't know if it's free for everybody, but it's free for me. What we're trying to do is just buy it 10 or 9 times and put it in the garage. And once all the LEGs come in the garage, what we're trying to do is pull one LG out of like just take it out of the garage one by one and just walk back in the garage, pull another LG out of the garage and walk back in the garage and do, do this over and over. Okay, the only reason why you do this is because the um LG is not mighty or it's not a dirty dupe, so 
the afro app is going to recognize this vehicle so it's going to open back up okay that was just the first way of doing it if you want to buy all them leg's all them talent leg's i don't know but my way of doing it the second way of doing it like this is way easier so keep watching also if you do show people how to do this can i please get credit because i actually made this or because i ain't seen nobody else do it before so can i get credit my guy okay my way of doing it make sure you have some vehicle that do not have any modded wheels meaning they don't have benny wheels or f1 wheels on them or you didn't duplicate it or if it's a dirty dupe don't make sure it's just like a clean vehicle that you didn't do nothing with for an example i'm about to go to my nightclub and show y'all an example because i know some of y'all actually don't get what i'm saying so i'm about to show y'all Okay, as you can see right now, I'm in at my nightclub right now. And as you can see, these vehicles up here don't got any modded wheels. And these two vehicles right here, this black one and this green one got beanies. One got beanies and one got F1. I'm not going to touch these two vehicles because it's going to mess up the Eiffel up once again. Okay, once you have vehicles like this, what you want to do is pull it out of the garage. Also, they don't all got to be in this one garage. It can be separate garages. Just make sure you, they don't have any beanie wheels or F1 wheels. Okay, as you can see, I just pulled this vehicle out of the garage. And what you don't want to do is drive the vehicle back in the garage. So what you're trying to do is get out of the vehicle and walk in the garage and pick a different vehicle. And make sure it does not have Benny wheels or F1 wheels or you duplicated the vehicle. So make sure it's a raw vehicle. Also, remember, these vehicles do not have to be in the same garage. All you want to do is just pull them out of the garage and walk back in the garage or just drive to another garage that got these type of vehicle that's not modded yet or duplicated just walk in the garage and pull it back out just buy like 10 or 7 vehicles i don't know how much but do that Okay, once you finish pulling out all the vehicles out of the garage and jump, what you're trying to do is wait 15 minutes. Real life time, I'm talking about human time. Not GTA time, not game time, human time. So what you're trying to do is wait for 15 minutes for the Alpha Rap to actually adjust all them vehicles you just finished pulling out. Okay, once that 15 minutes is over it, what you're trying to do is launch the Alpha app. Okay, once you get right here, once again, what you're trying to do is click on LS Customs. Also, once you click on the Alpha app, make sure you are on GTA Online.
Okay, once you load in the uh, Los Santos Customs, as you can see, this third one right here that says Willow is actually your online account. Okay, now we're trying to scroll through these vehicles right here until you see a vehicle that you recognize. But if you did the LEG Retros um method, all of these are possibly gonna be LEG, so you're gonna know which LEG you clicking on. So we're trying to do, do my method because you actually can recognize your type of vehicle because you're gonna have to click on it. Once you click on the vehicle and put um custom plates under, you're gonna have to get it in GTA Online and take it to the Los Santos custom okay once you pick a vehicle it's gonna say the name up here as you can see i got that tally gto okay once you get a vehicle that you recognize you know the name you know what's located at what we're trying to do is click on abc plates okay as you can see this is a place that you actually customize your plates so we're trying to do is click on this plus square to add a new plate or add your first plate or whatever so what we're trying to do is just customize your plate Okay, once you finish customizing your custom plate or whatever, you can change the color, but it's gonna cost more. But once you finish customizing or whatever, what we're trying to do is click on customize. And this right here is gonna pop up. So what you're trying to do is just exit out and just click on customize once again. But if you wanna change anything else on your vehicle right here, you can change your wheels, your rims, or whatever. But if you wanna, if you just came in for the custom plate, we're trying to do is click on order. Okay, once you get on this receipt thing right here, as you see, you're gonna pay a hundred thousand. As you can see, I'm gonna pay a hundred thousand six hundred since I got the black custom plate. So once you finish with that and you agree you got a hundred thousand, just click accept. And as you can see, once you finish with that, we're trying to do is go back on GTA. You don't actually gotta turn off your game, just you can't it's gonna actually the notification actually gonna pop up mid-game. Also, make sure you're actually in the vehicle that you use in the the iFru app that he showed because the name is going to show up with the type of vehicle they're trying to put their license plate on. So, as you can see, this is my Italian GTO that I'm going to use that I used actually in the iFru app. So, make sure you actually use the exact vehicle that you use in the um, iFru app. Okay, as you can see, I just got a notification from the iFru app straight to my game. And if you don't get a notification, that means Rockstar actually took your um li your custom license plate. That means you've been duplicating too many vehicles and you sold too many vehicles back to back to back. So you're not getting your license plates back. But if you do get the notification, what we're trying to do is take that specific vehicle to the Los Santos Customs. And as you can see right here, once you get to the workshop, this alert is going to pop up right here. So what you want to do is just buy the license plate. Also, I think if this is your first time getting a custom license plate, you're actually going to get it for free. Okay, as you can see right here, I got my custom license plate, W2X, just like I put in my phone on Alpha app. And it's actually on my license plate. Also, any custom license plate that you make is actually gonna save on your game and it's actually gonna be free for other vehicles. Okay, before I even forget, I know a lot of y'all wanna know how do you actually put custom license plate on the Easy Classic and I get a bunch of these questions. So what we're trying to do is do this step right here. So what we're trying to do is actually order a custom license plate on the regular vehicle. So all these steps I just finished showing y'all, do it on the regular vehicle. Do not do it, do not order a custom license plate on the Easy Classic. We're trying to do is order a custom license plate on the regular vehicle and then once you get custom license plate in the game what you're trying to do is go pick out a easy class that you got and put a custom license plate on As you can see, you can't see it. So I'm about to just take this Easy Classic to the workshop. I mean, to my Arena War. Actually show you that you actually put custom license plate on the Easy Classic. It's that easy. And as you can see right here, I got a custom license plate on the Easy Classic. Also, since I'm showing you how to get custom license plate, I'm actually about to show y'all how you can tell you got a dirty dupe in your garage. So if you take a vehicle to the workshop or something or to the Los Santos Custom and it doesn't got um custom license plate, but your other vehicle, it shows custom license plate, that means that vehicle that's not showing custom license plate is a dirty dupe. Throw it away. Do not sell it. If you keep selling dirty dupes, Rockstar will take away your custom license plate and you will not get them back. The only way you can get it back is by making a new account. So throw that thing away. 
or shout out be the rest of this video hopefully i enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it go ahead and subscribe if you are new go ahead and smash the like button as also also comment down below if this work this video did work for you and i did help you out so put your boy will two times i'm out i'm on like two percent so where you want to meet yeah fat little bougie bitch she said she want the d yeah i'm smoking on my broccoli count color greens yeah if i say do not talk to me don't talk to me little birdie on the street says you want to beef little boy you don't want the beef you gonna catch the heat swipe your shit off of my screen please stop texting me your bitch hit the whole team yeah she for the